today's video, I'm going to break down one of the most popular Town Hall 12 war armies so that any of you can three star with it. What's going on, my friends? My name is Joe, and are you having a hard time three-starring Town Hall 12s as a Town Hall 12 in Clan War? Well, sometimes you just gotta pick one of the easiest armies to apply and use it. Look, we're not all trying to be pro players here. We just wanna get the three-star. So in today's video, we're gonna break down the Zap Quake Witch Attack strategy in a manner that once you watch this video, you'll be able to go into your own Clan Wars and get the three-star for your clans. So we're gonna use this replay here from Zen, and you'll notice that this base design for some of you is very basic. It's a squared, symmetrical style base design with all the heavyweight defenses in the center. We got a stage five Town Hall 12. We have one, two, three Inferno Towers, and we also have the Eagle Artillery. Some of you guys out there might not like bases like this, but believe it or not, it's very easy to take them down. So the army that we're using today is three golems, 15 witches, the log long launcher, eight lightning spells, and two earthquake spells. Now here's how we're going to apply it. We're gonna select two inferno towers that we're going to destroy with four lightning spells per inferno tower. We're gonna drop those lightning spells in a manner that we touch multiple buildings as well as the inferno tower with four different spells you must touch the Inferno Tower with four different spells in order for this to work and destroy the Inferno Tower. Next, we're gonna select our Earthquake spells and drop them in a manner that touches the Inferno Tower as well as various buildings around those Inferno Towers. You'll see that both of the Inferno Towers are destroyed, but we also touched the Town Hall and activated the Giga Tesla. It's not a big deal. We'll be able to take it down with the Log Launcher. So next, we're gonna move into our entry point and we're gonna select the side where we can use our log launcher to travel through the village and take down or do damage to the Eagle Artillery, the third Inferno Tower, the Town Hall, as well as the Clan Castle. So we're gonna start out by dropping one, two, three golems, and we're gonna back that up with our witches to start clearance of multiple buildings and funneling around the intended entry point. So I want you to see how we dropped our log launcher Barbarian King, Archer Queen, and the Grand Warden, and we allowed them time to work. As they travel through the village, you're gonna use the Grand Warden's ability. Now what you're doing here is you are protecting the witches, you're protecting the golems, your heroes, the log launcher as it moves in on the Eagle Artillery, and you'll notice that the log is also doing damage to the Town Hall as well as the Clan Castle back behind it, and opening up entry points for the troops to go to the center of the village. As these troops move through the Warden's ability, you'll see that the Clan Castle troops will be pulled out of the CC, and inside we have Witches. We're gonna drop a Poison spell in this placement, and the Log Launcher is in fact going to open up and release Yetis. Now, two Yetis is the preferred offensive Clan Castle troop for two different reasons. When linked up with the Rage spell, it can easily take down the Town Hall and also protect your Witches and your Archer Queen. The second reason is the fact that the Yeti releases the Yeti Might, and those Yeti Mites target defenses on the other side of walls. So as you can see in this situation right here, we were easily able to take down an Expo and Hidden Teslas, while the Archer Queen picks off buildings on the other side of the wall, and the Yeti cuts through the wall to keep moving the Archer Queen forward. As we zoom back out, you'll notice that the Witches and the Golems were able to clear the flanks of this village very very easily with the assistance of the Grand Warden and the Barbarian King. But this is based on the open concept design of this particular base. When it comes to those tight compartment villages, you might not be able to have similar results, but I've seen those get taken out by this army before as well. One more thing that you really need to worry yourselves about when it comes to these particular armies and these high level villages is your hero levels. If you have not upgraded your hero, and you are failing, that might be the reason behind that situation or that failure. And I recommend that you check out my How to Upgrade Hero 
videos at Town Hall 12 free to play. I'll link that video down in the description below. So based on the results of this particular attack, you can see that this army is insanely powerful. It is very easy to apply, but you gotta make sure that you understand that not every single base is going to look like the one that was used in this particular example. You also need to make sure that you're going out and practicing this army before you go into your clan wars to make sure that you're selecting the correct inferno towers to destroy and making sure that you destroy that eagle artillery to protect your witches your golems and your heroes but there's the army right there and if you enjoyed today's content make sure to leave a like on the video subscribe if you have not done so already and if you are a newer town hall 12 that needs some guidance on how to upgrade your villages be sure to click one of those links over there and we will see you in the next video